Aquarius, this is Bonnie from Soul Star Bliss with your November 2024 mini tarot reading. Can you believe the, the year is almost gone already? I do have a few announcements and I wrote them down so I get them correct for you if you'll bear with me. Um, please stick around. We will do the love and money pull at the end. I hope I remember to do both the love and money. Last month I did leave one off with one or the other, so forgive me. Um, also, it says if you'd like a private reading uh, just about you, please, I've included my website down below, www.soulstarbliss.com. Go ahead and make your uh, choice on which reading you want, and um, you know I will email you as quickly as I can, and we'll get something set up for it. If you're doing the two questions, make sure you include the questions or email them to me. Um, a shout out to Seattle. I had the best time meeting my clients in Seattle, new ones and ones that have been. I so appreciate it. I can't wait to come back to see you all. I just wanted to make sure I told you about that. Oh, and also Spirit Fest this month is in Jacksonville, Florida. Ann and I both will be there. And it is at, forgive me, I'm going to read this right off of here. Um, it's November 16th and 17th. The time is 10 a.m to uh, 5 30 p.m it's at the schultz uh center 4019 boulevard center drive jacksonville i will have that information down below too for you to check out uh happy thanksgiving and you know what this came to me this morning and i'm going to put it on each of the videos it says make time for yourself this month you deserve it we all do so please if you want to do that that will be good for you um, I think that's all the stuff I have to say here. So let's get started with what's coming up for you, Aquarius, for the month of November 2024. I love this time of the year. I love the, you know, and, and the happy Thanksgiving is to those of you who celebrate. It's my favorite holiday on the planet. Um, it's, it just is. <laughs> so let's see here. What is coming up for you, Aquarius? Oh. Oh, there we go. Okay. Hmm. It says you may have uh, more than more than one person telling you or giving you advice about things you want or should do. You know, you're pretty smart, Aquarius. You can take in the information from others, but you know, it's your decision about what you want to do about whatever it is, moving, changing jobs, you know, having children, whatever it might be. You can, you know, take in information from others, but ultimately remember the choice is yours, what you do says you definitely will be making choices and some of you are making big choices uh, uh, that are going to change your life um so kudos to you pray about it ask for guidance i'm sure you'll get it seems like those of you that have spent a lot of time alone or even feel alone when you're with people and i know that feeling it's kind of a weird feeling to be in a room full of people and still feel like you're alone but it's like you're working on that you're getting you know like an apprentice you're learning that you know you're where you're supposed to be and you're going to find that you know large groups you know can in those of you especially that pick up the energy of others you know that can be uh you know like an empath kind of thing i do that sometimes and i've learned to kind of shut that down when i'm in a big crowd but work on that it just seems like you're going to be busy doing things you have a lot of angel help spirit help around you right now again i'm picking up choices you're going to make and again ace of swords they're choices you make that make swift changes and very positive ones whether it be about family work money what you know they're different for everybody but it says just use your own common sense or experience or you know whatever again you can listen to others but remember you live with the choices you make um if pregnancy is wanted this month by some it could be very good and it also means abundance i'm hearing for for many of you um ace of pentacles and the ace of cups together is almost like magic it seems like remember what you think about you become what we think about we create if you're needing money or wanting money for whatever to pay your bills to buy a house whatever it is already see it in your mind's eye because you know if you say oh i would like to have money to buy a house that ain't going to happen. Guess what? It ain't going to happen. <laughs> so it says be positive about whatever you're uh, stating to yourself because nobody talks to you more than yourself in here. Nobody. Um, it says things are going to go up and down for you. some of you in relationships. It's like, oh, we got this fixed. Oh, slide back. Looks like we have some more work to do here, some of you, um, which is fine. And it's not necessarily like a husband and wife. It could be family stuff, meaning children, parents, grandparents, other, you know, cousins, whatever it is. It just seems like there's going to be a focus on 
uh, family, I want to say issues or things that don't seem to be in balance. Use your intuition because it's very good. Even though you tried to help a family member, I don't know if this is for everyone, but this is really loud and clear. Let's just say clear, excuse me, that you tried to help somebody in the past. And I feel it was a family member. And then, you know, they were all set to go. Maybe you even gave them money to help them along and boom, they changed their mind or didn't do it. So if you're giving money to somebody in a family, you don't, if you borrow money, make sure that, you know, it, it could it never come back to you. You know, if, if you need it yourself, be careful how you do it. I, I'm just a reminder or a warning there. It says in the work area, those of you that are working, it seems like you're going to have some very good um, ideas how to improve something. And of course, not everybody works, you know, it could be retired or you could be, you know, whatever, a stay at home mom or a stay at home dad. But those of you that go to work every day, if you have a really good idea, uh, get the kinks out and then present it because it looks like, um, you know, and be careful who you tell it to because someone could snatch it right out from under you. But I feel like you're going to be in some kind of meeting at work and uh, you have an idea and you want to present it. Um, but send it to somebody, like send it to somebody in email. So, and I hate to say it, so you can prove it was your idea before they put it into practice. And it's, I don't know if it's an ego thing or a, a benefit of money or something, but it just says, don't let anyone steal your idea. So make sure you have it all worked out or basically worked out and then present it. Um, I do feel like you're going to feel like a victor this month. The strength that you've, you know, kind of gave away or put on the shelf especially with family matters is going to be strong for you. Quick changes are coming in happiness, some joy, some bliss. Um, those of you that are planning travel for either this month or next month, it's going to happen for those of you that want to. Um, make sure that your plans are, you know, double checked. I don't know, especially like airline tickets or train tickets, any travel tickets or, um, I would just double check. I don't know why and who that's for, but you don't want to get to the airport or the train station and find out your train left three hours ago. There might be a change in your agenda is what I'm saying, or your your, your uh, departing time. Do feel like there's definitely going to be change in the family. And you remember, we can't change everything. And we can't, we shouldn't do everything they want. We can do what we can. We can do what feels good. But if you're the one always making the change, you need to think about that because it, someone's not stepping up to the table, so to speak, to help with that. Uh, and I have the five of uh, cups very loud that, you know, we can't change the past. We can work with what we have. But once we get that lesson or we understand what, not even understand, so get the lesson, it'll stop happening. Um, if you're having issues with family, you know, have a meeting, have a, you know, see a counselor, uh, bring things together because I feel by springtime, those of you that are having issues with family, I feel by springtime, there's going to be a big difference there. Either they're going to be worked out or there's, you know, some people are departing or, or shutting you off, I guess, in a way. But however it is, do what's best for you. Don't give your power away all the time by saying, okay, I'll do that or I'll be the one who changes. I'm not sure if that's for everybody, but please do what's best for you. I just can't say that enough. And there's going to be reasons to celebrate. Don't feel guilty moving forward with your wants and wishes. It's time for you, Aquarius, to celebrate your life. You have, you know, spirit uh, ancestors with you. You have angels. Archangel Michael is just, I'm hearing Archangel Michael calling him. He can help you. With that said, this is Bonnie from Soul Star Bliss. We're going to do our three-card pull uh, for love and money and see what we have here. I almost was going to end my reading. So thank you for your patience. Let's see, let's get these picked up. And I do have those all shuffled and we'll do the love first and then we'll do the finances. So I just have to cut them. They are shuffled. What is coming up for love in the Aquarius department for November? Okay, I have the Nine of Swords. I have the Ace of Pentacles, and I have the Ace of Swords. So it says in the love area, it, again, I keep hearing that you do too much. You change. You make the, you know, you bring it to the table all the time. If you can have someone gather with you, whether it be family, spouse, lover, whatever, it's going to be much better. Things are definitely going to work out in this area, but it's not as quickly as you would like. 
Okay, and that's not for everybody, but it says here that, you know, everything is possible. I'm a firm believer in that. So let's see what is coming up in the finance department for Aquarius. For the month, oops, of November, that was the Ten of Pentacles. That's, that's pretty good for the money one. Let's see if it comes back out here. Here we go. Let's see. We have ooh, the Queen of Swords. The Wheel of Fortune could be a lucky month for you. Oh, and we have the Ace of Swords here. Okay, it says neither be a lend. No, you don't borrow money or don't lend money. If you lend money, remember, I think this came up earlier in your reading, is if you can't afford not to get that money back, don't loan it. Okay, um, because it looks like whoever you may be trying to, and that's not for everybody, but whoever you're trying to help has no intention of giving you your money back. So Wheel of Fortune says it's like things click with you. Or maybe you're lucky. When this comes up, go buy one lottery ticket. Not 100, not 2, not 10. It just says you could be, this could be a lucky month for you. And I hate saying that because people will run out and you know gamble or spend money. But I'm just saying if, if this is so for you, just it just takes one ticket to win. But you're going to feel like um, a victor this month. In the financial area, I think in a lot of areas this month for you. Um, Aquarius. Thank you for dropping by. This is Bonnie from Soul Star Bliss. Happy Thanksgiving and I will see you again next month.